it's August, and that means it's time for Big Red Fish in the Pamlico Sound. We're making a six hour drive to Oriental, North Carolina to check out the artificial lure bite on Papa Corks. And not before stopping for barbecue along the way. Nah, I mean, there are only a few guys are doing it right now, and it's still, you know, this is kind of the beginning of the season, so it's still a little early in the game. I'm fishing with my fishing buddies Rich Jenkins and Jamie Clow, and our guide today is Rich Andrews of Tarpan Charters. Get close. <laughs> but talk to me now. I mean, you, you, you should you should have plenty of line. Yeah. You know, but if you if you get low, if any of y'all get low, you tell me. Oh, oh look, look at that! Right right <laughs> 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 just pop right up, quick. These boys don't quick. mess around. Male. Green. Come on, he's up, buddy. About 38 and a half, pretty. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful, man. Yeah, he's mid 40s, at least. Beautiful. From right behind you, brother. I get a shot. All right, come on, walk him up here to the side. Keep, keep away from that back corner. I get, I get nervous around that back. That's a big fish. That's a big fish, man. That's a big fish for a shot. 45 inch or about Beautiful. Look at that thing, man. Beautiful fish. Wow. Not quite, ready. Not, not quite ready yet. No, I ain't gonna, gra I ain't gonna grab that later till you, till no. you pop her head. Color of the fish is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, man, look at the color of that fish. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, <laughs> him, holding him up and everything. <laughs> That's alright, you can get it. Rich has got it. Got some underwater stuff already. There she goes. How long have people been throwing popping cork for these fish, Rich? Mm, really, last year was the first big year that we had we had doing it. Yeah, I mean it's uh one guy figured it out and he's been he's been doing it for a couple years before that, but he he was doing it. He was up in the shallow water mostly up, up around the banks and. Um, he didn't really, he, he kind of let the cat out of the bag to everybody else. He got everybody out here trying it and everybody spread out. And everybody's fishing a little bit differently in different areas and all that. And we learned a lot about these fish. We learned that it didn't really matter where you did it. I mean, we caught them out in 20 feet of water and that, up in two feet of water and up on yeah. top of the shoals. Just calling them in, right? Yeah, just you know, calling them in. And, Learn that you can, you, can, you can catch them blind, blind cast, you don't necessarily have to be cast on top of bait. Boat, didn't he? Yeah. Watch your front end here. I might get under the boat. Gotta come under the boat again. Whoa. Yeah, there you go. All right, all right, Rich, walk him up. Walk him up. Walk him up. Front way. Uh, 
Watch the motor. Double on right here. Got a double on. Rich is hooked up. Jamie needs to tighten up over here. <laughs> He's slacking off everybody big time. Up, right? We got everybody. We got we got two guys hooked up right here. Rich is looking for a little redemption after his uh, his fish got the better of him yes, yesterday afternoon. <laughs> He knows he got it. Come on, big girl. Good job, brother. Good job, boys. 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 Good